I know you can't ask and answer questions about the plot. I've decided to do some fun questions. Okay, uh, we'll see about that. Is BB-8 a boy or a girl? That's a, that's a spoiler. Oh, really? It's a droid. <laughs> uh, what about- I haven't really checked under, underneath the, the bits <laughs> there, but uh, I'll let you know, I'll take a look. Do you think R2 is a boy or a girl? I'm, yeah, boy or a girl. What is gender? You know, <laughs> let's talk about that. Let's talk about, you know, gender and uh, artificial intelligence, maybe. Is it, you know? Uh, I, I'm not familiar. Are, will we be getting into ex machina soon? Well, you're, these were the, it feels like these were where the questions are leading. I, I feel like, uh, you know, gender is a very, uh, it's, a, it's a fluid thing. Sure. I'm, I'll Especially when it comes to a droid. Sure. I'll move on to something else. Uh, who shot first, Han or Greedo? Han. Thank you. Uh, if you were a Jedi, what color would your lightsaber be? Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with rainbow. <laughs> rainbow colored. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's great. Thank you. Uh, what's, now here's an interesting one. Uh, what's your personal rank of the six Star Wars movies? Mm, um, I mean, there's, a, there's two, I have to just go with emotion on it. For me, <laughs> number one is Return of the Jedi. Uh, then Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars, and then three, two, one. Okay, you so you put Jedi before Empire and Star Wars. Yeah, is that because you grew up with it and that, like? It's because it's the first film I ever saw in the movie theater, and uh, and I just have a very. It's just it, it for me that means my childhood. I recognize that Empire Strikes Back is a better film, but for me I can't I can't divorce my emotional response to Return of the Jedi. Even the Ewoks, everything about it is uh, you know I have a, a very personal connection to the memories that it elicits. I, I all right, so back off, bro. <laughs> I, I totally John get it. Boyega makes fun of me all the time for the Return of the Jedi I, thing. I, I think that's why it's a personal list. Um, uh, best and worst day on set? Best and worst. I think best day, best day had to be when, when I was on set and my, my uncle was given a role as an extra. And uh, they put him in, in all the hair and makeup. And he is the biggest Star Wars fan I've ever met. Uh, and so that day that we got to actually be in the scene together in Star Wars, probably that was the best day. Worst day was uh, when I uh, have to run in and, and I was supposed to like get my, my uh, cannon out, my rifle, and, and follow, a, follow a bad guy and shoot him. And then after the first take, JJ said, uh, hey, can you just do the recoil of the laser shooting out? Because I had forgotten about that. And I said, yeah, yeah, sure. And in the very next take, I just hit myself as really hard in the nose with the cannon, and it just started bleeding from up here, and we had to take like a half hour just to, just to stop the blood from coming out and then cover it up with makeup, and that was not a, that was not a fun day. My last thing for you, uh, can you do impressions, and if so, can you do Chewy, Jabba, and JJ? I can do, um, come caca solo. That's a direct quote. Uh, and JJ, it's like, oh my god, oh my god, it's great, it's amazing. No, no, you're gonna love it. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's great, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. I love it. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, can't wait to see the movie. All right. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.